catastrophic damage in Palace Tank 4. The following subsystems are requiring attention. Either communication array, background radiation mapping, plasma fusion generator. <laughs> Wait, what's going on, Galileo? Why are you laughing like that? You won't succeed. Your temporal placement is malleable. It's primary. which is the game you just saw. I'm just going to show you a little bit of some of the sound design and implementation that I did in Wise, connecting it with Unreal. Right off the bat, I've got an ambience loop that sort of plays all throughout the game, doing its best to sort of randomize and create this atmosphere that doesn't peat or sound boring. And in it, you know, using the sound design of the game, it's sort of set in a submarine underwater, and it's a, you know, there's a monster trying to kill you. Pretty simple way of explaining it. And I just wanted to be creepy and give you an overall sense of scariness. God, my head hurts so much. In here, I've got some creaks and stuff like that. I'm not going to show all this stuff just for the sake of time. So there's some creaks that are randomized. So sometimes it'll play on this track or sometimes it'll play on that track. I've got just some uh, rumble just to tie some stuff together. There's some water drips that will play. You know, it's a submarine. Probably not the best thing to hear in a submarine. Uh, I've got some sonar pings. Yeah, so just some nice words of encouragement as you're playing the game. And there's also, you know, some ambient music. And it's just tied, it's tied really to the same thing. I, I sort of designed them both in the same in the same vein. So there's, you know, there's music as you're, you know, as you're playing the game. There's a game state that will change from when you're being chased. And so the AI spots you. And then after, I think, about 10 seconds, if it doesn't, the AI doesn't see you, then it changes back to the uh, ambient game state. So the monster sound is playing, uh, it's got a movement sound. Oh, sorry, that's not, <laughs> that's the sound. So that's just kind of as it's moving around the ship. Again, that's sort of called at the start of the game. So it, the AI will do certain paths throughout the game. And that will be the sound that kind of plays with it, along with the garbage kind of sound, like as it's kind of knocking stuff off the walls. It's just to add more atmosphere. I've also got uh, a monster movement fast. This is just to sort of replicate when, so in the change of game state, so when the player is being chased, this is what they hear, so it's not just like the, the regular sounds, the, the monster speeding up trying to chase them. And then there's a monster roar loop that happens, so whenever they're being chased, you know, you hear this, this, uh, this loop. Uh -huh. uh, I have some jump scares that are triggered uh, by trigger boxes, again. <laughs> Uh, I have the same thing done with some lights, glass breaking. So whenever you hear, uh, you, you kind of go over a trigger box, a light, the intensity will go to zero, and then you'll hear the sound, and you'll be like, oh, what, what was that? There was a light. Uh, I also have some monster ambient roars. These are triggered after the first encounter with the, uh, the monster. <sighs> These will sort of just be playing a bit more ambient so that the, the player kind of has an, an idea of where the monster is. 
um, you know, much like the sort of main loop that we have over here. Just heartbeat sounds just controlled via an RTPC, and so whenever you reach below a certain uh, threshold, you'll start to hear the heartbeat. Um, just a couple equipment sounds. Uh, there's a hurt sound, of course, when the player takes damage. That's just a simple post event that plays. Heavy breathing is called after the, the there's like a key that's pressed. I think it's like shift or whatever whenever you're stopped running. And so that's just kind of to add a bit of atmosphere and like kind of scariness uh, to the game. We've also got footsteps, pretty standard, just panned sort of uh, left and right. And then of course with tons of variation on them. There's other, you know, just sounds that are called in the beginning of the game. Okay. There is, there's lots of, uh, yeah, encouraging stuff. Uh, artifact sounds, like radios, um, let's see, yeah, electrical stuff, engine room stuff, uh, doors, more water leaking in specific parts of the map, you know, just to create as much ambience as possible. The next thing I have here is a sequence container that con uh, controls all the dialogue for the game. And so essentially, you know, in terms of the dialogue and, you know, how the sound design changed over it, you've got just it's sounding pretty normal we're only 2200 feet from europa's surface you know it's just kind of regular uh, ai sound and then after a while it changes <laughs> wait what's going on galileo why are you laughing like that you won't succeed your temporal placement is valuable it's primary you know, and so it gets taken over by this artifact that's like sort of, that's actually where the monster's coming from. And so it gets taken over and then you can hear it evolve and get darker. But that's sort of with the sequence container just to tell a little bit of the story. Okay, so this is Dome Dash. Uh, and in this game, you can sort of hear a couple different things right off the bat. You can hear a couple of the uh, robot ambient sounds. And what I did with the ambient sounds was I had to make sure to limit them uh, to a certain number of voices uh, because there's quite a, a large number of them in this in this small little dome area. And if there was too much, then it would have a lot of negative effects on the CPU and also the sound in general too as well. All you would hear would just be these robots flying around, which is you not know, a bad thing, but a couple of sounds I have here are the, um, the jet pack. And so if I do a space or a shift, That'll play the jump sound. I've got a grappling hook here. And so there is a, uh, when, you, when I press M1, there is the firing trigger, which is just one sound. And then when I uh, press my right trigger, it will play the release. And so you can hear that. Uh, you just also heard a bit of the leaf sound. Now, as soon as I grab this core, all the robots are going to start to chase me, and what's going to happen is the game state is going to change. So, music's going to change, and these robots then are going to start to chase me. Here we go. Uh -oh. And actually, as you just heard there, um, there's a random container that contains a bunch of uh, things that robots will say to me. Uh, so that one just called me a slowpoke. Uh, see if I can grab it again. So he just laughed at me again this time, okay. And then so, that's the drop off sound. And that is more or less it with this game. There is some, you know, other amp, small ambience things, but that's more or less it. Uh, first thing that I can show you is the uh, footsteps. So I've got a couple of different footsteps. They're in sequence containers, so they go left, right, left, right. Uh, and then they're in a random container, so there's tons of variation in there. They're all panned, of course. And then if I have my different materials that I set up in Unreal, so I've got carpet, concrete, stairs, and wood creaky. Next thing we've got is ambience in the game. Now the cool thing with the ambience is that it set up some game sinks and so we've got a couple different levels in the house. And so then what I did was in here, uh, the ambience, I uh, created a different thing. And so what I can do is as they move into, for example, the second floor, uh, the ambience changes from like, I'll show you the main floor. 
and then it goes to the second floor. So you hear those vibraphones. It's more kind of haunted voices kind of sense. So that will change using a trigger box whenever they move to the different area. I also have some RTPCs going on. So the game's sort of a puzzle-based game. And so the goal is to sort of solve these puzzles and uh, you lose sanity, for example, as you progress in the game. And as you lose sanity, I've just got an RTPC that will play with, your, with a heartbeat. Oh, sorry. And that's just set to different levels. And alongside that, I also have a sanity, which will sort of... And I will add just a little, some couple strings to increase the tension. Uh, I've got uh, the book explosion, which is a random sort of thing bug we found that turned out to be kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I hope you found it interesting and entertaining. I hope you have a great day.